Hi guys, uh, now I'm gonna explain you in this tutorial how to uh, tune your speed controller for controlling uh, brushless motors using Arduino and Solo in a closed-loop manner which uh, as you might know that Solo is capable of working with sensorless speed controlling of different types of brushless models and in this tutorial I'm gonna explain you how to tune and prepare Solo for your model to work in that uh, type of configuration just before going to that I would say that speed control means uh, controlling the rotational speed on the shaft of your motor so when I, ta when I say uh, solo controls the speed of the shaft which, which means that you're sending a command to solo asking solo to increase or decrease the speed of your motor and then solo itself will manage to keep the motor speed constant on the required value you ask so it's a little bit maybe complicated but in closed loop systems the difference as we told in other videos is when you command to a model when you work in closed loop mode you verify that the speed or torque remains at the requested value and here is the same story uh, now a solo is capable of uh, automatically doing all the work for you it's capable of automatically keeping the speed of the motor constant and uh, equal to the value asked from Arduino or any other controller externally or even like two simple potentiometers which I'm gonna show you in other videos so uh, here in this input you can send the commands in PWM form or uh, analog form and uh, Solo will uh, interpret those commands and uh, apply uh, the requested speed on the shaft of your motor connected to the output. The commands here are either in form of PWM pulses or in form of analog pulses. Uh, for the PWM pulses, you can, you, you can send any PWM pulse with the frequency v above uh, 5 kHz. Anything above 5 kHz, is, is, it's okay. 5 kHz till 100 or 200 kHz. And the way to control the speed of the motor is to, to vary the duty cycle of the pulse. So the frequency is not important. You can send any frequency with your PWM pulse, but the duty cycle is what you control with the amount of speed on the shaft of your motor. So if your duty cycle is 0%, meaning it means that Solo will uh, stop your motor with zero speed. And if uh, the duty cycle is 50% you go with the half of the maximum speed that Solo can deliver and if it's 100% it means that you will go with the maximum speed that Solo can uh, provide you as we told uh, Solo works with field oriented control and uh, in field oriented control uh, it's a little bit uh, maybe complicated for a lot of people but you are uh, isolated from knowing that knowledge so it means that you can easily without knowing anything about that type of controller do the job and uh, i'm gonna here explain you how you can do the closed loop speed control with solo uh, for doing the closed loop speed control as uh, i said in previous videos first of all before going through any other settings you need to tune your uh, uh, piano switch settings now here I have a brushless DC motor and uh, I want this motor to work in uh, closed loop speed control. So what I'm going to do is this. The first pin is in charge of defining whether you want to work in open loop or in closed loop. Doesn't matter what's your motor, doesn't matter what you want to do. So in this case, since we want to do a closed loop control, we, put it, we pull it up. The second pin is in charge of defining whether you want torque control or speed control in closed loop. We want here in this tutorial a speed control, so I put it on the two. Uh, the two is uh, down. And uh, number three is defining the current limit to the motor. So if you want the motor to be able to run with the maximum allowed current by your power supply or so and so solo, you should push it down. If you want 
much less current, maybe if you're mostly sensitive or anything, if you pull it up, you're gonna have uh, almost a third of the maximum current that Solo can deliver, which is around 10 amps. Pin number four and number five are in charge of selecting the type of the motor you want. And uh, here we have uh, a brush CC motor, and as you can uh, go down below on the link, I gave you a table explaining all these pins. In this configuration, you select a brush CC motor, so the four is up, the five is down, and in, uh, in this case, you are applying a switching frequency of 20 kilohertz at the output of solo. For other types of brushes DC motors, which are very maybe sensitive or very small or ultra speed, uh, ultra fast motors with very low inductance, you can pull also five to up. And in that case, you, you will have 80 kilohertz of switching at the output. So this is the configuration now. In the torque control, if you remember, we didn't do any, we didn't need to do any other settings. It was, this is the only thing you need to do, but in a speed control mode, you need to also tune these two uh, potentiometers here. One of them is known as KP and one of them is known as KI. Actually, uh, these two are uh, the gains of your speed controller. For, for the motor selected you have, you need only one time to tune these two potentiometers for your system, for your uh, uh, project, and then you leave it there will stay there forever as long as your motor doesn't change, as long as your system doesn't change, those parameters will remain the same. If I'm going to explain you what each of them do, I would say that KP is, uh, if you are not familiar with uh, PI controllers, I would say that in a very simple language, KP is in charge of how fast your controller will react. And KI is how well your controller will react during time. So this is like the immediate reaction, and this is a little bit uh, depending on the time. So, and both of these together, they provide you a smooth uh, control. And uh, here in, in this tutorial, we're gonna see how to tune it for an unknown brushless DC model we have here. You don't need to tune any, any parameter from outside. You don't need to do anything. So to go on with the tuning of solo for a speed control, uh, here we have an unknown motor. We only know the type of the motor. We don't know the parameters. We don't know anything. We don't know the load on the shaft. We know nothing about this motor. And we want to tune this uh, controller solo to sensorlessly control the speed of the, uh, uh, the brushless TC motor here we have. And... Uh, we will start with the very first steps. Here we have an Arduino providing us a PWM pulse to this pin, which is in charge of a speed or torque control in closed loop. And it's a very simple functionality. So when I'm increasing or decreasing this potentiometer here, so when I'm rotating counterclockwise or clockwise, I increase or decrease the amount of uh, duty cycle on this pin. So there is a PWM pulse coming all the way through this purple uh, wire down here. And when I increase the potentiometer, I increase the duty cycle or I decrease it. And this duty cycle, the amount of the duty cycle defines for me how much speed I would have here. So to tune the controller, uh, you should start with tuning, first of all, a little bit the KP, this gain, this potentiometer here, and then we go to the KI you increase a little bit, very, very minimum, KP, and then you increase the amount of duty cycle to the motor just to see how the motor behaves. You should not increase these gains abruptly or very fastly. You should be careful. You should go little by little, just slowly to find the best gains, and they remain the same almost forever, as long as your system is the same. So, first of all, you put both of these two potentiometers like completely in the counterclockwise into the blocked position. So they are completely blocked now in the counterclockwise direction. So uh, it means that both, they are both zero. Now I'm going to increase a little bit KP and then I'm going to see the effect of increasing this KP on this motor. So I, I increase it a little bit, maybe just, I don't know, two or three degrees. Not so much. You put this down. 
I'm going to show you what happens when you uh, so now the KP is not zero is a value uh, between uh, some certain number set here but I just did this like for two or three degrees and I'm gonna see what happens when I increase the speed here so it starts to vibrate and then after a certain uh, after a certain point if I show you again here after a certain point starts to rotate it's not good because first of all it's vibrating and I can see it because the controller is not well tuned and also I can easily grab the shaft and this uh, makes problem for the controller so this means what this means that probably the KI gain needs to be improved a little bit just to help this controller to stabilize over time over a little period of time so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn back again the potentiometer to zero. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to now I'm going to increase a little bit the KI just for having a stabilized controller. So KI is a very, very sensitive gain. You should not increase it like dramatically because it has a very dramatic effect on, uh, on your controller. So you should increase it slowly, little by little. Now we have a little bit of Ki, like 4 or 5 degrees. I'm going to rotate this uh, potentiometer until the motor starts. So it's a little bit, I think, better. Maybe not so much. So now it's better you tune your controller while the motor is moving. So I'm going to increase a little bit the Ki, just a little bit, and reduce uh, sorry KP so I'm I have increased KP a little bit just and then I'm gonna and I have now some vibration I can feel so the vibrations can be eliminated by KI maybe I increase a little bit KI yes and I have much less vibration the motor is moving and now I cannot grab the shaft it's resisting in front of my so when I'm varying the load on the shaft, the motor still resists and it doesn't allow me to reduce its speed because it has control on the speed. It's closed loop. And uh, let's reduce the speed just to... So this is, we go with a little speed like now. the. So this is like the minimum speed in the sensorless mode. It's like I think uh, around 100 RPM. And still you see that it's resisting in front of my hand, but it's not super good because this speed is so low for this motor at the uh, sensorless mode. I increase a little bit the speed. So it's better. It's controlling very well. But the controller is not perfect because probably the KP gain is too much because as you see in some parts of the controller it's acting very abruptly, very uh, aggressively especially sometimes that uh, the motor is very it has, has a low speed so maybe I decrease a little bit the KP just a little bit and then I increase again the speed now it seems a little bit better not so much i think I, I decreased it too much i'm gonna increase it a little bit decreasing ki because maybe ki is too much increasing kp a little bit So I increase the speed of the motor. Okay. So now I can easily grab the shaft. It means that the KP is not well, it's low. So I increase the KP again. Just. Okay, now it's better, much better. So. You can see that now, even when the speed is low, I cannot grab the shaft. It's much harder for me 
and it's resisting in front of my uh, force applied on the motor. So as you can see, even when I go to higher speeds, it's much harder for me to grab the shaft. And one of the signs that this motor has a, a closed loop control, you would see that now the current drain from the power supply is very low. It's around uh, 300 milliamps. And when I apply force on the shaft, because this one wants to keep the speed steady, it will drain much more current. It will increase the torque automatically. And you would see that the current here goes up but the speed remains constant. And this means that the speed control is working well. To have the best combination of the, uh, the gains, you need to play a little bit with your motor, a little bit with your system. And uh, but once you find the best combination, that would be enough. That would be uh, only one time setting and you wouldn't need any, uh, any other action. You can just leave the motor there and uh, 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 use it forever. As long as the motor is, remains the same, as long as the system doesn't change, as, as, long, as long as the load on your, the shaft of the motor doesn't change dramatically, because this controller actually doesn't need to be tuned every single time that you add a little bit of weight or a little bit of load on the shaft. But if it's dramatically changed, if you go from uh, one neoton to 100 neoton on the shaft, so you would need much different controller. But anyways, everything is here for you. You can always uh, retune the controller if you feel like uh, it's uh, it's vibrating or it's not smooth. But uh, it's very simple. It's only one time, and uh, the only thing you need to do is playing a little bit with these two potentiometers down here, and everything else will be fine and nice for you. Thank you so much.